Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Parser or IUPad, and today I'm bringing you guys a brand new Hypixel Skyblock video. Now, recently I did a Contrathon where basically I streamed, and the more Contraband I got, the longer I streamed. This turned out to be very successful, and I got a lot of coins. And with these coins, one thing that I decided to do was actually buy the new weapon, the Dark Claymore. But I didn't just buy this weapon, I actually hypermaxed it and tested it out. And the main thing that I tested out for was LCM, which stands for left click mage. So in today's video, we're just going to be discussing the best LCM setup, or at least the LCM setup that I have, and just how well it works and how much damage it does. But before we start, I just want to mention that if you guys enjoy the video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe as it really does help me out. And also make sure to go join my Discord server down below in the description as we do giveaways in there quite often. Anyways, without further ado, enjoy the video. Now, first of all, I already showed this in the intro, but this is our Claymore. It is 10 started and it is literally hyper max. It even has the music rune on it. The only thing that this weapon is missing is Chimera 5. And yes, Chimera 5 makes this way better. And we'll talk about that later. We also ended up buying ourselves some storm armor. And as you can see, the storm armor is literally completely maxed. It's missing one star, which is kind of annoying, but still nine stars is very close to maxed. And then it has everything you would need for damage. It has perfect Jaspers and it has ancient on it. Now we're going to be testing this in M6 because that's kind of the easiest and most viable floor to test this on. So for that, we're going to be using this diamond sedan head. Again, it isn't 100% max because it's missing the 10th master star. However, it is still almost 100% max. Now let's talk about my catalog. Okay, so currently I am Catacombs 48. Now I know that this isn't max, but it is as close as I can get. Obviously, you could do the math to see how much more your damage will increase by Cata 50. But even at Cata 48, everything said in this video is 100% true, and it scales up to Cata 50. And then finally, my class level for Mage is 38, but this doesn't actually matter when it comes to damage. It only makes abilities go faster as it goes higher. So basically, this doesn't affect damage. For the pet, we're going to be using our level 200 G-Drag. And of course, we have 1 billion coins in our mech to make this as good as it can be. The Ender Dragon pet is also viable for this, but that's basically it. Okay, so now let's get into M6 and test some damage. Okay, so we're just going to go ahead and enter an M6 run here. And I'm actually going to select Mage class. And as for the clear itself, I'm going to be using Necron armor just because it's easier for me to clear with Necron armor and a term. All right, guys, so we just entered the boss room and I'm just going to swap out for my LCM set. So as a mage, obviously, we don't really do much here. We just gyro the terracottas. If you guys don't know, the mage gyros in the order of 1, 3, and then 5 because they have the lowest cooldown. So here's our second gyro about to go off. And then the final gyro, and we move on to giants. So we're actually going to go to the second giant. Now, it's a little bit hard to actually see our damage, but let's just see how well we do. And as you can see, we just completely destroyed that. I'll try to actually pinpoint the damage that we did there if I can and zoom into it now. But if not, I couldn't really see it. Also, I want you guys to keep in mind that it is currently Paul. So we are actually getting better blessings. And then finally on Sedan himself. Let's see. And as you can see, we did that pretty quick too. But obviously, that's with the help of the archer. All right. So I'm also going to quickly do a test on the actual mobs just in case you guys want to see that. So again, I have my golden dragon pedal and my whole setup. And as you can see here, here is our damage. 320 mil there. That's kind of insane. It seems like our damage is around the 300 mil mark. All right, guys. So we're entering a mini boss room. So I can actually test this on a mini boss too. So as you can see, if I don't get completely destroyed by this frozen adventure, I'm doing an insane amount of damage to it. That last hit there was for 23 mil, I believe. So as you guys can see, that's actually how the Claymore ended up performing as a left click mage weapon. Now, obviously with Chimera, the weapon would be way, way better as the G-Drag stats would go onto it and it would just be very, very overpowered. But now let's talk about it compared to some other weapons. Okay, so first of all, the Giant Sword. Now I actually asked the best mage himself, RMRF Slash, and he ended up telling me a little bit of information that can help you guys out. Okay, so the Dark Claymore at this rate would be about 10% better than the Giant Sword if the weapons were identical. There's also the Chimera 5 hype to consider. Now currently the Hyperion is actually kind of broken. 
Now the problem with the hype currently is that the scaling is actually broken. So currently the Dark Claymore is actually 25% better than a Chimera 5 hype. And considering how much more the Chimera 5 Hyperion is than the Dark Claymore, this is a huge difference. But Arm says that even if they fix the Hyperion, the Dark Claymore would still be about 1-2% to better than the Chimera 5 Hyperion. So yeah, overall this setup for LCM cost me about 2 billion coins if you don't actually count the golden dragon and some other little things. But then again, the dark claymore really doesn't have to have everything that mine has. Mine has a bunch of enchants that aren't really necessary. So yeah, that's basically the best LCM setup that you can get. And it's actually pretty cracked, especially for M6. But yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe as it really does help me out. And also make sure to go join my Discord server down below in the description. Anyways, I'll see you guys later. And yeah, peace.